So welcome to Lagging Out. We're going to be discussing, uh, this is where we discuss, I should say, uh, video games, all things geek, science fiction movies, comic books, cartoons, uh, you name it, I guess a little bit of pop culture, whatever the case may be. Uh, This week we've got some interesting stuff. No Princess in the Castle. That's the title of this episode. She's gone. uh, We will uh, explain that a little bit later. Mostly big announcements tonight. Huge, um, huge, huge announcements. big announcements tonight. Just uh, Chieftain and I, uh, the original two co-hosts of the show, bringing you this more of like a news night more than anything. So two ten sausage fest. Yeah, we won't be talking a lot about. Pro- I don't know. Do we really? Well, the only thing I will bring up about games, we'll talk about that later. On. I'm going to talk, talk about, about the GTA big news five because because I know it drives you nuts. But first, let's talk about our biggest news. That was the wrong drum roll. That was supposed to be... <laughs> hey. I was like going swimmingly. Yes. I need to use these definitely more often. So, uh, We do have a very big announcement. Uh, seriously. Uh, we here at Lagging Out uh, 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 want to give a shout out to our, broad- our newest... I should say, broadcast partners, uh, the Legion Gaming Network. Our nation's finest need an opportunity to get away from everyday stresses uh, and to unwind. Uh, with today's large uh, online interaction, the gaming industry has served as a great source of a stress-free environment and gives our heroes a chance to play, converse, and show off their competitive skills with people across the globe. The Legion Gaming Network is a network of current and former service members designed to foster a fellowship of like-minded individuals. This network of gamers serves as a hub for the integration of current service members and veterans of military service to become informed and to become a contributing part of the international gaming community. All the while simultaneously building a camaraderie, providing continued professional and leadership development, providing services for veterans organizations, and participating in the competitive gaming market. Uh, Make sure you check them out at www.legiongamingnetwork.com. So, so that's a big announcement. Aboard. That's the big yeah. announcement. That's one of them. Those guys. That's, that's just one of the announcements. Yeah, we have like two. Yeah. So we don't have like two. We do we indeed have two. We have three. Total. Three? We have yeah. two or more. Just two or two more. Two or three more. Total. And of course, the show is brought to you by the Gamer Gloves at thegamergloves.com. You want to play like the pros? Then go to gamergloves.com and enter the coupon code lagging out and save 15 cent on your pair of gamer gloves today. Wear what the pros wear. Wear gamer gloves. Also, one of our other sponsors, fuompostingit.com. You can post anything you want. Freedom of speech is not infringed on fuompostingit.com. Let me let me just throw a big shout out to Pages Fight Back. Uh, today is June first, and uh, this is their first day protest for not posting on your group pages. So if you see our page is blue today, probably is and we're not posting is because we're actually participating in that. Um, for more information, go to Blue Pages Fight Back group page. I want to know when there's going to be a national Facebook boycott of Candy Crush. <laughs> People are way too addicted to that to do anything about that. I'm I'm so glad I like I play it. I played it like once or twice, and I won't play it anymore. It's just I have too much company other things. included. You're you're well, so obsessed with the game. I think I, all I hear see on Facebook is I like puzzle funny guy got another turn from somebody else, or you gave yeah. a turn to some. I don't even know what the heck I, that is. I don't. I try to turn all that crap off. I know a lot of people play it, which is why. I, I send that kid out because it's a pain in the ass to wait for a turn, you know? All I do is play games and read copy, man. Yeah, I know. Um, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I do. Well, we, have a, we have one more announcement. You want it? We have one? two more. We have two more. All right, you want me to try to, like, this awesome reading? Well, if you notice, I was going to kind of set you up here. So, um, you know, usually you set me up? There's, there's three of us here, are our uh, illustrious co-host, Zombie Killer, who, uh, by the way, we are not the daddy. Um, it's an inside joke. She happens to be pregnant, and we lost Chieftain. Uh, the, the short of it is, um, true to our name lagging out occasionally, 
uh, one of the co-hosts will drop out. Zombie Killer tonight, unfortunately, could not be here. And over the last few months, uh, in order to um, have a rounded, well-rounded crew, if you will, for the show, uh, we started a what we call the lagging out uh, great female co-host search. And basically, what this position is is somebody who would fill in for, say, Zombie Killer uh, when she wouldn't be able to be here. For instance, on a night like tonight, and also uh, gives uh, Moab and I, a, a, you know, another person to talk to when Chieftain lags out, kind of like what's happening now. Uh, I should give. A, I'm just going to show Twitch his face real fast because it's hilarious. You, uh, yeah, you got to switch to it. Can you? Can can, can you do that? I, I, I can't switch to it. Oh, oh man, it's so hilarious. Man. So I can throw some some more news out there for gaming real fast while you yeah, do that. Well, can I can I turn it over to you here for a minute? Well, yeah. you know, yeah, talk about some gaming news and. Uh, really messed this up, but that's all right. We'll get through we'll it. <laughs> it's worth it. You guys will see it. It's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. Anyway, I really need Absolutely to camera. It looks so bad. Okay. <laughs> Basically, if you follow me on Twitch, I've been playing some games all day today. I started about noonish, and I've been playing State of Decay Lifeline DLC. It just got released on the 30th of last month. Also, uh, The Forest, which just got released in... For those of you, the forced open world survival game that you basically is a more high graphics. It looks like Minecraft on the Crytek engine is what it reminds me of. And uh, there's cannibals going after you eating you. And I had some pretty good experiences in there. I'm going to actually save and highlight some of those. Uh, there's just scare frights because it is a, a horror game. And it's a word I can't say very well. A horror, 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 horror. <laughs> I was in speech. A horror. Have you you've never seen Apocalypse Now, or am I dating myself? Oh, I've seen Apocalypse Now. No, yeah, that's I was that was my best, really bad Marlon Brando. And there you go. That's going to be our contest. Can you see that? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty pixelated, but it, it looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> here's a contest. I don't know if he's going to approve of this or not, but we're going to do it anyway. Yeah, we're doing it anyway. It's going to be called Create a Meme of the Chieftain. I don't know what you're going to... What I'll give away. Not, but, yeah, I don't know what we're going to give away or win, but, uh, you know... I'll tell you right now. We'll have for, something. Whoever wins, I'll give a $20 prepaid card in their choice. On there my, you go. There I don't you know go. what you guys yeah. are going to do. There you go. Um, let me find that. Also, keep up with uh, lagging out on the Twitch side because usually every Friday I'll do a giveaway for a twenty dollar gift oh, card. Oh, here we can show it to him. He's back. Can you see us? Can you hear us, man? Yeah. Yeah. Check it out. We took a screen capture of your picture when you uh, lagged out, and it's awesome. And Moab had the greatest idea. Do an internet. That's one of our contests for this week. This will be to create an internet meme of the chieftain. Great. And won't work for me. And here's the picture. And it's as awesome. soon as he gets it up, as soon as it pops up, everyone's waiting in suspense. There you go. There you go. That picture's awesome, dude. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh my god, that's gonna be awful. There's gonna be so many graphic things, and oh my god, I'm yeah, so much trouble. People are gonna like have a peeled banana by your mouth. You know everything. <laughs> oh god. No, it's gotta. You gotta keep it clean. We don't want pictures of wieners, and I don't want you know. I don't need a picture of Peter North. If you get my drift. <laughs> Who's that? Never mind. If you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> So I didn't do the read. Instead, we uh, we kind of kill a little time here. Uh, I'm so high. Making I just the, to get... the chieftain meme picture. Jesus. She had prior engagements, and okay. uh, you know that from time to time she can't be here. So what we did was we initiated a thing called the Great, uh, uh, you know, uh, female gamer uh, lagging out co-host search, and we okay. did arrive to a conclusion. And I right. didn't get a chance to write to get to that because I started doing your picture, and we were all having a good time. Okay. Well, um, yeah, th that was a pretty good setup. So what we did is actually I put the post. We had the two finalists, uh, Lethal Minx and Lily Raven, and we're happy to report that we actually come with a winner, 
with a combination of how what we spoke about and what you guys wanted. So starting um, in two Drum weeks, roll, please. we here at Lagging Out are happy to make the following announcement. Friend of the show, friend of the show, <laughs> friend of the show, and new contest winner, Lily Raven will now be doing a video game review in a segment that we are calling The Raven Review. She will be doing previews on upcoming games, covering gaming news, as well as doing some gameplay commentary. Uh, she'll be, her first segment will be covering Arkham Knights, the beginning to a part three series, um, Lego series. And other upcoming segments will include Kingdom Hearts 3, Watch Dogs, and the new Fable game. And any requests submitted to her on Facebook. So, congratulations to Miss Lily Raven. And um, welcome to Lagging Out. We look welcome to Lagging Out. So, she wrote that herself. I'm sorry if I butchered it, Lily. Yeah. <laughs> Was, and now the gaming, and what now? More gaming news. More gaming news. Good friend of ours. Uh, is that am I correct in that assumption? That's who this is. Well, he's actually casted in the actual uh, film. So he's in the film. Okay. okay. Yeah, he's in the film. He's friend of the show and really cool guy. Okay, friend of the show. If you're uh, familiar with the gaming world out there, by the way, all zero of our Google views. Do we have any viewers on Twitch right now? I'm just curious. Yeah, we got a couple that are watching. All right. Okay, cool. Hi, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Uh, for those of you who are kind of really hardcore into the gaming industry, uh, Patrick Scott Patterson is one of is a good friend of Lagging Outs here. So this is kind of a big announcement for the old PSP. You can follow him at Twitter at Original PSP, just like you can follow us at Lagging Out. It's PatrickScottPatterson.com. Um, and PatrickScottPatterson.com is his website. Be sure to check that out. A uh, big advocate of uh, in the gaming industry, in the gaming world. Uh, with a very huge and impressive resume to match. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick synopsis. Is this a synopsis of the film or of his role? It's a synopsis of the film. Of the film. Okay, so a quick... Uh, the, the film is entitled, from what I understand, No Princess in the Castle. Am I correct in that? That is correct. All right. Uh, beyond the social mythology of women who game as being soft, passive... Uh, little girls in pastel clothes, often marginalized by the media, viewed as a half-life, incarnations, uh, stands a group of women, real women, who game and whose efforts and uh, contributions throughout all aspects of the industry, past and present, have created a powerful momentum that no uh, longer can be ignored. Uh, this is a documentary? It, yeah, it's a documentary. Actually, um, they hit their Kickstarter uh, goal, $60,000. I think they're at seventy now. So they actually hit their Kickstarter goal, and they're actually going to go forward with the film, which is awesome. Okay, so if you're into documentaries, cool. uh, from the producers of uh, The Video Craze, uh, Dave Danzara and Natalie Rossetti uh, of White Widow, White Willow Films, uh, comes a new documentary on based on the lives of women in gaming who, against all of the odds, uh, punched through the peripheral shadows and entered a gaming world uh, center stage. Uh, hailing from various states across the United States of America, from programmers to professional competitors, the voices of these women bring us side to gaming, never uh, brought into focus before. Filled with insightful interviews, No Princess in the Castle uh, lends a sensitive yet informative look into the feelings that compel the gamer to game, the programmer to create dreams that provoke emotion, uh, all the while opening the door on the world of gaming from the personal pers perspectives via a spectacular cast of supporting contributors. Uh, no Princess in the Castle, recapturing the realm of women, women who game. And uh, our good friend Patrick Scott Patterson is going to be in that film. Or you can see, is it out yet, or do we know when it's out yet? Do we it's not, it, they're filming it. We don't know when, there's no release date yet. So it's, it's in production right now. Right. All right. And I love his term, to calling himself a, a gaming uh, personality. I think we're going to call that, we're gaming personalities too. We're totally stealing it from you, Scott. So if we're gaming personalities too, you're a gaming personality. We wish you all the best in this film. I hope you're popular and you win an Oscar. <laughs> Because I know it's going to be good because, you know, like the stigma with women in gaming, funny guy, you know, go there's a lot of sexism, but they're, they, come, they come up with 47% of the gaming population is women. And but that number is also based on casual gamers. So every time he lags out tonight, I am going to go ahead and share this. It's um, good to have his picture. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and share this till he gets back on. Um, 
So if you think that's pretty funny, just keep it clean. We're going to post that up on our Facebook. Somebody will. And then your guy's job out there is to create a meme for it. Try and keep it clean. I wonder if he's coming back. Yeah, we can move on. Yeah, all right. We can do that. Let me... Now that I actually had the production notes here. <laughs> there you go. I sent them another invite. Hey, folks, uh, you are watching Lagging Out here on Twitch.tv. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, uh, at Lagging Out. Uh, also, go like our Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash Lagging Out. Uh, subscribe to our channel on YouTube. We do repost the show every Wednesday, a uh, more condensed version of Best Of, if you will. Um, so be sure to check us out there on YouTube.com slash Lagging Out. What else? We're also on Instagram, at Lagging Out Show. Somebody tried to steal our name, and we came up with something more clever. Also, I want to give uh, – we have some other sponsors we do want to give some time to here. Uh, we want to especially thank Cursed Underground Gaming. Are you looking for a fun and competitive gaming community? Then you want to join Cursed Underground Gaming. If you're interested in a freeform structure or even a pro branch, look no further. Currently, uh, just recently hit 1,000 members. Go like their Facebook page at facebook.com slash Gaming. Also, uh, the Fierce Gaming Females. Now, they support uh, gamers on all platforms, but uh, these girls, uh, if it's games, comics, video games, uh, cosplay, they talk about it, and uh, they do participate. So be sure to go like their Facebook page at facebook.com slash Fierce Gaming Females. And then we do have another bit of news. That one of the Watchdog promotions went wrong, but I don't have the link up. What have you been playing, man? I've been playing Watch Dogs, actually, and it's the... Uh, well, there you go. What do you think uh, of it? I, I haven't been playing it, so tell me what you think. You know, I've, I don't want to go into too much detail about, about it. I'm currently writing stuff about it, so I don't want to go into too much detail in this episode. You'll see more in a later episode, probably. But uh, so far, I love it. There's some things that I think should have been put into the game that aren't in there, but I, we can't be picky. It is... It's a fantastic game. It's worth your 60 bucks, is what I'm saying. It's uh, got everything from car chases. It's got the arcade-style driving, not like the realistic Grand Theft Auto driving. It's got more like the, uh, if you played, uh, I don't know, I think, I can't even think of the game right now that it's, it's similar to, but like Saints Row, I guess. It's, that's kind of driving. Like, it's fast, quick-paced. You're smashing into other things. Um, it handles like a need for speed, is what I guess I'm trying to and say. you're playing this on PC, correct? I am playing it on PC. I do. Uh, the only thing is, PC is having a problem with it right now because it overheat. It, it's overheating systems, especially if you're not running it on a PC itself. Like if you're running it on any other type of computer, like a Mac or whatever. Um, no, it's the, it's the AMD graphics cards that are having the most problems on the PC side, though. And basically, it like my graphics card. I have a GTX 780 because um, I don't need to overclock it, and it makes it on max settings an ultra it basically makes my graphics card I want to say 90 degrees Celsius which is way up there in fact in my industry I deal primarily with ATI and Nvidia so Nvidia is great I gotta Nvidia, remember to click on my name Nvidia is you know the cat the, the Ferrari of video cards I think in my opinion uh, with ATI probably being the Maserati you know what I mean they're both really good brands. Yeah, I get you. Um, I prefer NVIDIA because I haven't had a problem with mine. Uh, I did, I, over the years working on some games, I noticed that ATI cards ATI cards tend to be better suited for applications uh, that are more uh, that are not video games, I guess, if you will, would be a really good way to say it. Uh, in other words, they're probably more for practical video applications, editing, things like that. Not that NVIDIA is not, but when it comes to gaming, I think NVIDIA trumps just about everybody. Uh, but in terms of like an, uh, on an industrial level, uh, ATI is a pretty solid uh, video card. And they're, uh, from what I understand, uh, writing firmware for them is uh, not overly difficult to either. Why are we talking about know. ATI cards? Why? Because we were talking about watchdogs, if you would uh, be able to stay online for more than five minutes. Well, that's my um, I'm just teasing. I'm problem. teasing. I'm teasing. I know, but I'm. I make a joke. I make yeah, a joke. It's you like, make a joke. You think you're so funny. Yes, I make a joke. You make a joke. You think you, you think don't you're funny. Don't promote our other buddy. What's his uh, Griff? Is I don't see him on here. The Griff Talk Vlog. 
Yeah, don't forget yeah. to tell people. Why don't you tell That's everybody right. about that while you're here in your brief moment of time? <laughs> well, every time I open up the preview window, it, it crashes. But uh, Griff Dog actually does. I'm open movie. the preview window. Well, I have to. Re I, well, you know what? Can uh, Moabiti read the trivia question then? Because every time I open up that that preview window to read the. Get well, right the trivia. I think I think we're just going to have a meme contest for this week instead of a trivia question with that picture, and let the fans vote on the funniest meme, and whichever one gets the most, whichever picture that gets the most likes, that's who gets entered into the drawing. How about All that? All right, we'll push we'll push that trivia question for next week. Yeah, and I already have the picture. I'll e I can email it to you right after the show. And just a reminder, with getting added in addition to, since this is a different contest, and I, I brought it up in the moment, um, if you win to get entered into the drawing, I'm also right away I'm going to give you through a message a code to a $20 certificate of your choice, whether it be Xbox, PlayStation, Steam, whatever you want. It'll be $20. Actually, I guess if it's Xbox, that'd be $25, because I can't find the $20 anymore. <laughs> I just want to th uh, thank, uh, just want to recognize Dan O, who answered our last week's trivia question, which was how many show, how many episodes have we actually done? And the answer was 29. So Dan O was the first to answer that correctly. So he gets entered into the uh, sweepstakes for the end of the season. So big ups to him. A little sound effect I can push like. Wow, what a night, folks. Let me tell you, I will be glad as rain when this show is over. I'm starting to sweat. Terrible internet connections tonight. We'll explain to you what's going on. He actually is sharing an internet connection at the moment with somebody who's grading papers. So every time he lags out, there's a kid that's probably failing an English class somewhere. So, anyway. It's so hard when you don't have, like, you smile when you laugh and don't laugh out loud, so it's... Really no, I, I mute time. my mic. No, Sorry. No, no. Every time I do that, because I have stuff going on. And uh, so basically, that's what's going on. And Lee Chavez is telling us that we should get something called voice effects for the show, which anything that improves show quality or uh, audio or video, um, please link it. Yeah. I think we'll be lucky. Just think about it. Every time he lags out, that means that three kids just now got an F on their English paper. Uh, what is the Lagging Out Loot giveaway? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to give you a shot at creating a meme this week. Usually there's a trivia question, folks, but we're going to skip out on the trivia question, and we're going to give you a chance. What we want you to do is create a meme for this picture, the infamous chieftain lagging out during the show. And what we're going to do is, when you post it, we'll have it all in one thread. Whoever's uh, meme gets the most likes by the people that come to the website is going to get entered into the drawing and get a gift card, a code for a gift card uh, from Moab. Uh, the, what is the Lagging Out Loot giveaway? What are they getting entered in to win? Well, first, how do you win? You got to watch the show live and or watch uh, live and or watch it uh, on video. Uh, for what the trivia question is, I uh, will put it up on our Facebook page. Although this week it's going to be an internet meme on our Facebook page, uh, and it's uh, facebook.com/slash Lagging Out. And then if you're the first person to answer the question correctly, although this week if you're the person to get the most votes with your meme. Uh, will get entered into the end of the season Lagging Out Loot giveaway. Now, here's just a partial list of what we got. Uh, we've got Game Informer autographed by the production crew from Evolve at Turtle Rock Studios, two iPad gel skins uh, from Game Insights, Game Dragon Eternity, a hardcover iPad case provided by Nar Narrate, uh, one gamer site tote bag with a water bottle, soda, cozy yo-yo, and mints, although I don't know how good the mints will be by the end of the year, two <laughs> SD cards, a full-size pool and peel uh, decals, approximately five pages of those, three T-shirts, a pair of gamer gloves, an Xbox Live card valued at 50 bucks, three autographed mini posters signed by the creator Neo. For you Neo fans out there, you'll know who that is. A South by Southwest autographed lanyard by Funny Guy and Chieftain. Uh, an official lagging out button, and quite a few other things that we are still in the process of. Lagging out buttons. We'll be adding out, uh, adding into at the end of the year. What was that? 
I said you said a lagging out button. I just immediately assumed that we're going to give them a button that hooks up to the computer that can push it and lag out anything. No, 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 no. A lagging out button for, say, your shirt or your jean jacket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lagging out. Yeah, that would be cool, wouldn't it, though? Like, have a little custom button that you could put on your computer that says lagging out. It's not a bad marketing idea there. It's like an easy button, but it's a lagging out button. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, playing of any games lately. Um, one thing I'm going to try and get soon here, don't laugh. I used to play a lot of Age of Empires, and I very much miss playing that game online. And I found out, I know I'm a little late, but I found out that uh, Steam has the HD version plus three new single player, uh, three or four new single player uh, campaigns, which I always like the campaigns. So that's going to be my next kind of, I don't know, probably. Talking about Age of Empires 2? Yeah, yeah. I really liked that game. I used to be really good at it, and I played it a lot. You know what? So, and I I'll like this new blur effect. I like that you like it. I like it, too. It's, I think <laughs> it works, man. It looks kind of cool. Kind of makes it sort of 3D. gives some depth to the room. You get Age of Empires 2, I'll get it, and we can stream our battle. No, yeah, for sure. I love that game. Yeah, I'll get down with you. We'll get down. Someone Welcome has back. joined us. Perhaps not. I don't think he's made it. No, he's definitely in. I guess. Yeah, I think he's out. Folks, you know what? It's just been one of those nights. I uh, want to thank our sponsors. Uh, first of all, I want to thank one of our newest partners again, um, Legion Gaming Network. Be sure to go check them out at legiongamingnetwork.com. Sponsors, uh, thegamergloves.com. Don't forget, you'll save 15% off your next pair of gamer gloves. Wear what the pros wear. Use the coupon code lagging out. That's L A G G I N O U T. And you'll save 15%. Follow us on Twitter at lagging out. Instagram at lagging out show. Facebook.com slash lagging out. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Special thanks to Curse Underground Gaming for Fierce Gaming Females. And uh, on behalf of Zombie Killer, who is, unfortunately is not here with us tonight. Draco, Chieftain, myself, Moab, Legion Gaming Network. You're still here. You want to do it? Oh, shit. He can't hear me. He can't hear any of us. He can't hear any of us. <laughs> what else? I guess that's it, on? man. Game over, man. Game over. <laughs>